Welcome to Lesson 2 of Introduction to Data Management course. This lesson covers data quality management capability. After this lesson, you will be able to understand fundamental data quality concepts, such as data quality profiling and assessment, data quality dimensions, and so on. In addition to fundamental concepts, data quality is covered from people, process and technology aspects. At the beginning, let's define the data quality. Data quality refers to the methodical approach, policies and processes by which an organization manages the accuracy, validity, timeliness, completeness, uniqueness, and consistency of its data, in data systems and data flows. Speaking of data quality, the subject of data quality is critical data element. So, let's say we have CDE, named date of birth. Date of birth CDE is defined as the day on which a person is born. Now, in the context of quality of data, here are some questions we can ask about critical data element. Is it accurate? Is it valid? Is it provided on time? Is it complete? Is it unique? Is it consistent? Each of these questions address certain data quality aspect for date of birth CDE. Those aspects are also called data quality dimensions. There are six fundamental data quality dimensions. Accuracy, validity, timeliness, completeness, uniqueness and consistency. Not all data quality dimensions are applicable on every CDE. For instance, for date of birth, makes sense to look at quality of data, against validity and completeness dimensions. Now, let's learn more about data quality dimensions, starting with the definition, of course. Data quality dimension refers to the aspect or feature of information that can be assessed and used to determine quality of data. As we mentioned, there are six key data quality dimensions. Accuracy means that data accurately represent the real world. Typical example, incorrect spellings of product or person names or addresses. Validity Data conforms to the syntax of its definition, such as, format, type or range. Typical example, incorrect classification values for gender or customer type. Timeliness. Data represents reality from the required point of time. Typical example, customer address change, which is effective on July 1st, is entered into the system in July 15th. Completeness Data are complete in terms of required potential of data. Typical example, customer address missing a zip code. Uniqueness Data are properly identified and recorded only once. Typical example, single customer is recorded twice in the database, with different identifiers. Consistency Data are represented consistently across the data set. Typical example, customer account is closed, but there is a new order associated to that account. The next important concept in data quality is data quality rule. Data quality rules refers to business rules intended to ensure quality of data, in terms of accuracy, validity, timeliness, completeness, uniqueness, and consistency. For instance, for date of birth CDE, we can define following data quality rules. Validity. Birth date must be valid date, in the range from year 1900, to current date. Completeness. 
date of birth must be entered for each individual. Empty fields are not allowed. Please note that each data quality rule is associated to particular data quality dimension. Also, multiple data quality rules can be associated to one data quality dimension. The next step is to discuss data quality process. Data quality process consists of four activities. 1. Define data quality requirements. 2. Conduct data quality assessment. 3. Resolve data quality issues. And 4. Monitor and control data quality. Define data quality requirements. This activity is described as follows. First, perform data profiling. That will help us to discover value frequencies and formats of data. Data profiling can be performed by using specialized tool or query languages that are supported by data source. Although some data quality problems can be discovered during data profiling activity, the purpose of data profiling is to give insight for data quality assessment. Conduct data quality assessment consists of steps as follows. 1. Define data quality rules for accuracy, validity, timeliness, etc. and also quality thresholds. 2. Perform data quality assessment by enforcing data quality rules on existing data set. 3. Identify data quality issues and update issue log. Resolve data quality issues consist of steps, as follows. 1. For data quality issues, which are identified during data quality assessment, conduct root cause analysis, in order to determine root cause of the issue. 2. Conduct issue resolution, by eliminating root cause of the issue. 3. Review data policies and procedures, if necessary. Finally, monitor and control data quality consists of following steps. 1. Define and populate data quality scorecards. And 2. Monitor data quality. Before we move forward, a brief reminder about course objective to cover each capability from people, process and technology aspect. This slide refers to process aspects of data quality capability. Same as metadata management, data quality process should be a part of system development life cycle, or SDLC. SDLC, or system development life cycle, refers to the process of planning, creating, testing, and deploying of an information system. In other words, during application design and development, you should ensure the quality of data in all application parts. In addition, same as previous slide, this slide refers to the process part of metadata management capability. So far we introduced data quality concepts and data quality process. Now, let's define the key role in data quality management. Data quality analyst represents key role in data management, responsible to perform activities associated with data quality process. Although this is the only role specific to data quality, data quality analyst will closely work with business owners, data stewards, technical owners and data custodians. That includes, but not limited to, definition of data quality rules, analyze results of data quality profiling and assessments, investigating root causes for data quality issues, etc. Once again, brief reference to course objectives, this slide covers people aspects of data quality management. Now, we would be taking an example 
to see how data quality really works, starting with use case definition. The use case is about to conduct the data quality assessment for employee data set, specifically to the data element date of birth. The threshold for quality of data is 99% for each data quality dimension. This threshold means that 99% of employee dataset records must pass the data quality rules in order to consider data quality as good. The CDE, named date of birth, is defined as the day of which the person is born. The data quality rules are defined as follows. 1. Validity. Birth date must be valid date in range from year 1900 to current date and 2. Completeness. Date of birth must be entered for each individual, no blanks allowed. So, we have defined data quality use case, based on one CDE, and two data quality rules, associated with that CDE. Also, we have defined data quality threshold, that will determine the level of data quality for defined CDE. The very first step in data quality process is to do the data profiling. Data profiling refers to the technique of surveying data in the database in order to get information about specific data set. On the screen you can see sample data set for employee data. One of the columns is data birth, which is target for this data quality exercise. Now, let's do the data profiling, and see what we have inside the dataset. Here are the results of the data profiling. The dataset contains 8 records in total. 7 out of 8 records are unique. 1 out of 8 records contain blank field for date of birth column. As you can see from the example, data profiling gives a big picture about the data in the dataset. Once we complete the data profiling, the next step is to assess data against the data quality rules, which are defined in the use case. That step is known as data quality assessment. Data quality assessment is one of the key steps in data quality management. In reference to this example, the input for data quality assessment is employee data set and data quality rules for date of birth, which are previously defined in the use case. Now, let's assess each record from data set against the validity and completeness data quality rules. Here are the results. For validity rule, 6 out of 8 records, past rule. 2 records failed rule. 1 record failed because contains invalid date, and other contains blank value. The score for validity rule is 75%. That is below the threshold of 99% that we set in the use case definition. Therefore, the actual result of 75% is red colored, in order to visually emphasize the problem with data quality for employee dataset. For completeness rule, 7 out of 8 records passed rule. 1 record failed rule. The score for completeness rule is 88%. That is still below the threshold of 99%. Same as in previous example, the actual result of 88% is red colored, in order to visually emphasize the problem with data quality for employee dataset. The format we use to present data quality assessment results is known as data quality scorecard. Data quality scorecards are an effective tool to monitor data quality in the organization. Data quality assessment discovers data issues. The next steps refer to identification of root cause of the issues and performing issue remediation. In this example, the root cause of issues are as follows. Validity. Data entered in this field are not validated against the valid date format. 
completeness. Data birth is not set mandatory field in database. The next step is to perform issue remediation by making corrections in the dataset. After making corrections, we should update data quality scorecard. Now, the data issues are identified and remediated. Final step is to ensure that this kind of issues will not happen again. In order to achieve that goal, we need to perform actions as follows. 1. Implement validation control for date of birth field against the valid dates within defined range. And 2. Set date of birth field as mandatory in database. By implementing remediation, we will ensure that data issues like invalid or empty date of birth will not happen again. Same like metadata management, data quality management capability requires technology tools to support the data quality process. Data quality tools should have certain set of features in order to support data quality process on an effective way. Here is the list of the key features. 1. Ability to conduct data profiling, including statistical analysis of data sets. 2. Ability to define and execute data quality rules for critical data elements, which are subjects of data quality check. 3. Ability to store data quality profiling and assessment results. 4. Ability to conduct issue resolution process and discover issue patterns. And 5. Ability to create and visualize data quality scorecards. Before we move forward, a brief reminder about the course objective to cover each capability from people, process and technology perspective. This slide refers to technology perspective. Another important milestone in data management journey, the data quality management capability, is almost completed. We have covered fundamental concepts of data quality, as well as people, process and technology aspects. Before we move to the next capability, here are the key takeaways from this lesson. The subject of data quality is critical data elements, CDEs. Data quality is about different aspects or features of CDEs. These aspects or features are also called data quality dimensions. Six key data quality dimensions are accuracy, validity, timeliness, completeness, uniqueness, and consistency. Data quality process consists of four major steps. One, define DQ requirements. Two, conduct DQ assessment. Three, resolve DQ issues. And four, monitor and control. All activities are performed by data quality analyst in cooperation with business owner, data steward, technical owner, and data custodian. Data quality profiling is about getting statistical information about data. Data quality assessment is about to assess data quality and identify data quality issues. It's based on data quality rules and thresholds. Data quality rules are associated with data quality dimensions. Data quality scorecards visualizes results of the assessment. Root cause analysis is about to find root cause of particular data quality issue. Data quality tools provide technology support to data quality process to ensure the quality of data in accordance to business requirements. That's all for Lesson 2 and Data Quality Management Capability. Now, take some fun and complete the quiz. The next lesson is about data governance.